What is up, Tutorial Nation? I'm your new Tutorial Sensation, Infinite Skills, and today I am back for my second ever tutorial to show you how to add a stopwatch to iMovie on iPad. So without further ado, let's get into this. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is get the iOS 11 update. If you have that, that's great. Then you're going to want to press the home button twice and use the screen recorder. See that red flashing button? You're going to want to press that and it will go red when you've turned it on. Then you're going to want to go into Safari and add a new page and search stopwatch. Once you got stopwatch, you're going to want to use the screen recorder, turn it on and put it on stopwatch. You can either use timer or stopwatch, but we're just using stopwatch. And then you're going to want to turn it on and we'll just skip this next part. After you've done the right amount of time for your stopwatch, you're going to want to go out of it and then stop the screen recording by pressing that button again. But I'm not going to because we've still got more of the tutorial. Then you're going to want to go into iMovie. And I'd suggest that you edit the video that you're going to put the stopwatch in before. So then you can just add the stopwatch in simply. I'm going to create a new project. And I'm just going to do a random video. Video I did with Carnage. Soccer trick shot. And then you're going to go into your videos. Recently added. And then press on the screen recording that you've done. Make sure you crop out all the outside parts, but there's three buttons. There's an add button, a play button, and a button with three dots. You're going to want to press that button with three dots. And then you press the second last button. See the button with the little square in the left corner? Press on that. Should go on top. And you've got that there. Now, if you want to adjust, like, where the thing goes, you want to press it in the edit section below. There should be two buttons in the right top right-hand corner, a zoom in button and an icon above it. If you want to zoom in on it, press on the, zoom, the magnifying glass. And then so you can just see the time. And then if you want to like move it around and make it smaller or bigger, then you're going to pinch it. Then I normally put it in the corner so it's out of the way of the other video. And there you go. You've got your stopwatch there. Now if you want to do more editing like freeze the stopwatch halfway through, then you want to select it, then press on it, and then press freeze the bar, yep. Thanks for watching guys, once again I want all of you guys that just watched this video, go down below and smash that thumbs up button, you heard me, smash that thumbs up button, and if you need any help with any of this stuff, comment down below saying so, and I will help you out with it. But I'll see you next time, guys. Goodbye.